Hey guys, how's it going? This is Lucian Sword, and uh, I wanted to show you a uh, first episode to the start of a, maybe like a series of clutch wins where I'm probably, I don't know if I'm going to be recording these in advance, but some most of them are probably going to be replays because you don't really know what's going to happen, so I don't always record just when I'm randomly playing, but to get to the chase, um, I'm going to be showing you this video and commentating. This was a uh, random strikeout match where I was pl uh, playing as all random characters, so I didn't know who I was gonna gonna have. See there, um, I accidentally ta uh, attacked when he was doing his opening taunt, so I, I let him hit me a couple times to even it up. So now we're even, and this is when the fight really starts. <clears throat> as with pretty much the start of any fight, you're just kind of feeling out your opponent. Um, I land a few good hits here, which kind of gives me some confidence. And um, but then, I, of course, I go right into his sig. I'm not super familiar with Barraza, as you can see right there. Um, I didn't really remember just how far that move could go, <laughs> and I thought I was going to be cool with the counter. Um, but I do know that his sigs are really powerful and have big hit boxes um, and do a lot of damage. So it's good to use SIGs often. And um, here he got a really, he made a really good use of the axe down, down heavy. Um, which is basically a wall and it's hard to get past. I got Bryn on my second stock, which I, I, I really like Bryn. So once I got Bryn, I was feeling pretty confident. And then once I got that stock, I knew, I knew I could do, you know, pretty decent here trying to be slick with the weapon um, and he comes and punches me a few times in the face but not to be deterred I'm still brand so I'm still feeling confident until he hits me there and now I'm like wow I gotta start doing something here then I notice the weapon throws are kind of messing with them so I throw a few more and then I can start chaining attacks um, Ooh, but then he has a perfect counter right there. Puts me back in my place. I'm I'm in red and he's in orange right now. Ooh. Nash is hard because he has such reach and I thought I was dead right there, but the down down heavy um, unarmed attack is sometimes a good way to sneak by people. I got kind of lucky with the spacing there, to be honest. It was a risk. And then... I really don't know why I dodged right into him. I guess I was thinking he was going to keep walking, but... And then I got Azoth, one of my worst legends. So I wasn't feeling super confident. I was trying to really figure the bow out. When I landed these couple hits is when I started feeling a little confident. Because normally I'm not that good with bow to land like any hits, really. So I'm just kind of doing random attacks with the bow, hoping something hits. Like, when they're on top of me like that, I don't even know what to do. That's how, like, useless I am with the bow. I mean, I, I understand some of the attacks. It's just, I don't know. It's, like, still kind of foreign to me for some reason. So, axe I'm way better with. Hits me right in the face. And then gets me with a side sig and a spear. At this point, I'm looking at the health and I'm thinking, man. But then I, I killed him right there. And I was like, you know what? I have a chance. Anytime it goes to one life each then I then you know you have a chance but he basically had two lives to my one and I somehow killed him with Azoth and then here he it's almost like he's not normally a Vrax player and um, you can tell because he doesn't really seem confident with any of the uh, light attacks he just keeps spamming SIGs and charging them for some random reason. He wasn't ever doing that with the other characters. And when you just sit there and charge random SIGs, you're just leaving yourself wide open. And even though I'm not that good with uh, Azoth, I'm going to get you on that every time, you know? Or pretty close to every time. I'm going to punish. So I'm feeling pretty confident here. All I need is one good hit. Of course, all he needs is one good hit too. But again, leaves himself open. And that was the first clutch win of this series, and I hope you guys liked it. And uh, I'm going to be uploading more as they happen. 
um, hopefully often, but I'm not always clutch, but when I am clutch, I like to show it. Alright guys, take it easy. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like Brawlhalla content, go ahead and subscribe because I do Brawlhalla stuff all the time. Thank you guys and take it easy.